So today I'm going to go to my school and I'm going to go to a core ELMS meeting where I get to choose clinical sites and then I also get to fit into our school's scrub uniforms so I can know which size to order. with my family and we just had a bunch of fun okay so now i am going to study also i want to show my planner um this is i you know basically plan everything in here whether it be school life events just anything um i got my planner from personal planner and this is my the current month it's february i used washi tape to try and cover the top part because I didn't really like how it looked and you could still see it showing through a little bit but it's okay and then I got these stickers from Etsy and then I just placed it on top you know so it looks much cuter and yeah as you can see today is the 8th and I just had that meeting and it was exciting because that means that I start clinicals really soon. And then, so this is for this week. This is like my layout. Um, I like how it's, I put for the first half, it's, um, you know, um, time slots. So I can like see what's going on for that day. And then here you can just like write assignments, due dates, uh, to-do list doesn't matter here on the bottom is extra space just in case you know you wanted to add something it could be like a weekly to-do list and yeah um this is going to last me one whole year and I plan to use it to its fullest <laughs> and ooh, I just want to show extra stickers that I got from Etsy so I got these like nursing stickers so like anything nursing related or nursing school related i will stick this little these little stickers see i already used one and then i have these like clinical stickers it's like really cute and then i also got these you know the monthly stickers and yeah that's pretty much it so I have very different ways of studying. I use Quizlet and I like to write out stuff and I also like to um, type in like I would get like a document and I would make a chart and those are like usually the three main ways that I study now. It really helps me. So this is my Quizlet. So right now I'm taking Pathophysiology. Click on that. And I would make Quizlets for every single chapter. Currently, last night I studied chapter 15. Now, I'm today I'm going to study chapter 16. And what I like about this is that I can use this learn feature. Here it shows me, um, it would give me like, I, there's like different options. 
I can choose whether to answer with term or definition. Usually I just like answering with a definition. And then I just like using um, multiple choice questions. It makes it much easier for me. And then Quizlet modifies it that way and helps me study. So that's what I do. And it won't end until I get everything right. Like, let's say I got something wrong. It would um, test test me that, that same question again. And then if I get it right, it would put it under familiar. But if I, um, if, uh, like, if I get that question again and I got it right again, then it would end up in mastered. But if I answered a, another question and I got that right the first time, it will immediately go to mastered. So I also like using this test feature. Here I would modify how it's going to be again. Choose multiple choice. You can choose up to how many questions. I always like testing myself on everything. So 59, all 59 questions. And I would answer with the definition. And then reset it and that's how it works. And then at the end, it'll tell me what, it'll show up here what, what percentage I got. And if I'm satisfied with the score that I got, then I would move on to whatever I need to do next. I, it could be studying or homework, doesn't matter. But I, I like this because I can literally, it, I don't know, it's just better for me to study this way. So this is another way that I like to study. I use this, this is a magnetic, um, whiteboard that I got from Daiso. So you can see, look, look how thin that is. It's great because it's, it's much more portable and I can just slip it into my binder and then I just bring it. And then it's much easier for me to bring out and then put back in. It's like no hassle at all. So I use this whiteboard and I would write out certain concepts and then that way that's another way for me to study see I use this whiteboard marker and what I like to use is this rag which I can't find right now but it makes it very easy to clean and I even have this um, solution so that it makes it even more clean but I don't use this as much the rag works pretty well for my papa class my teacher provides us with powerpoints and as you can see it looks really 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 overwhelming you know imagine like all of that so what i like to do um for patho i found it useful to categorize my information in chart formats so i would go on like google docs or word and i would make a chart i would put disease pathogenesis and clinical manifestations and then the treatment and then I put I would categorize them by like so this is like the main topic general mechanisms that cause altered flow and then these are the you know the subtopics the diseases that are mentioned underneath that main topic and then I would just type in whatever what I found on the PowerPoint and for some reason it makes it much easier for me to understand and makes it easier for me to differentiate between each disease and so I have more and if I can't really memorize a certain disease if it has too much information I have to put on a chart I make a flow chart see this is for this disease it's kind of hard for me to say <laughs> atherosclerosis I'll just say that one or arterial T yeah no. but um I'm this is like a flow chart of some sort um i think i'm gonna go back to this and i'm going to highlight important terms that i think i should know and that helps me as well and here i also use like youtube videos so that it gives me a better idea is a life-threatening disease See? that may have high cholesterol many scientists think it begins with, such as cholesterol Bad. See, it gives you, like, I'm a visual learner, so it gives me a better idea of what's going on. See, if I look at this, 
I mean, like, it's fine. It's, it's good for me to memorize. The thing is, this video helps me tie this information together. So, that's how I study. So, like I said, I am a huge visual learner. I love using anything that, you know, pops up to my eye. I like to write down stuff. And so, I think I'm also... How, I don't know if this is right, kinesthetic? I don't know if that's the right term. But, yeah, I use many study tools. I do not just rely on one thing because I get bored easily. And I just feel like this is, uh, these, like, three to four ways are really good to stimulate my brain. And so far, I'm doing really well in patho. Currently have an A. I hope I keep that grade, but if not, it's fine. I'm not going to kill myself for an A, but it'd be great. To have an A at the end of the term. But yeah, that's all.